to automate any android app you will need two things uh, app package and app activity so without that you will not be able to launch that particular application and then do the automation so this app package and app activity are very important so given the apk or application in the android device how you can find the package and activity it's very important uh, attributes of the application so let us see how to find that there are two ways in which you can find that so if you are using android studio android studio here you can see i have already opened android studio and uh, there you will see this locket at the bottom i have already created a virtual device as well here you can see if you don't know how to create virtual device in android uh, studio you can go there in tools and then from here there is abd manager from here you can create the virtual device and you can see that uh, virtual device is displayed here so once you, uh, that uh, device is displayed you can go to lock it and then all the uh, log of that particular device will be displayed here so through that logs you can actually uh, see the main activity and package name as well for any application so to delete the logs you can click here and by default you will see lots of logs coming through there so you will have to filter it from here if you filter uh, you, you can see only uh, related act, uh, like logs so you can see that it is dumping a lot of data from this android device but i'm not interested in all of that so what you have to do is you have to just filter the data and uh, to filter the data what you have to do is you can use this particular substring or the regular expression So with that regular expression what happens is that it only uh, captures the main activity or the package name of the application so let us go here and you can see that it has captured this uh, home category and the cmp is actually a package name nexus launcher but let us try to get uh, some other apps from here let us see what is this uh, package name for this messaging and the this contacts app as well so just click on that messaging app and then here you can see there is one log created and what you have to do search is this one cmp is equal to so until this slash this is the package name so getting package name is very simple you can also get it from the ui automator as well from here you can see that uh, in ui automator viewer also it shows the package name but activity is not displayed here so to get the activity you can uh, see that after slash whatever it is is the activity name so basically you have to uh, concatenate all this thing and then you will uh, your activity will be created so just remove the slash and this entire string is like a main activity and then this much is the package name so you can use this in your program so if you go to the IntelliJ, I have already created one program. So here in the package name, you have to enter that string until this and the activity you have to select all this until this then remove this slash. That's it. You, you got the package name and the main activity. After that, you can launch the app and then automate it using APM. Other way to uh, get the package name and activity name is using these commands adb shell and then this one. So I'll just copy that. So go to the terminal and then type adb shell. Then you will be taken to that adb uh, shell prompt, adb shell prompt, and then you will execute this command. Dump sys window windows and the grep dash e m current focus. So what it happens is that it uh, shows the package name and the activity name for the current application that is open in the device. So here you can see that this messages uh, application is open and that's why it has shown this package name. You can see this is the package name and this is the activity name. So let us open another app and then let us see if it uh, dumps that app package name and activity name. So go to the emulator and then let us go to the home screen and then open the contacts app. Now let us see what is the package name and activity name there. 
so you can see that package name is this one com.google.android.dialer and activity is this one extensions.google.dial contacts activity so that's how you can find the package name and activity name thanks for watching this video